This is the anterior surface of the distal part of the humerus. What you can see is a medial epicondyle, and this slight flare is the lateral epicondyle. The joint surfaces are the trochlea and capitulum. Resting against the trochlea, you'll find the trochlear notch on the ulna. This is the proximal end of the ulna. This is the trochlear notch. It forms part of the elbow joint by forming a joint with the trochlea of the humerus. So you're seeing the trochlear notch on the ulna resting against the trochlea on the humerus. This process that sticks up on the ulna is a coronoid process, and there is a respective fossa on the humerus to receive that when the elbow is bent. So we have a coronoid process and a coronoid fossa. So this is how the ulna forms a joint with the humerus at the elbow. But in addition, there's another bone, the radius. The proximal end of the radius is a head, it's called a head, and it's a flattened, almost disc-like structure that forms a joint with the capitulum of the radius. In addition, the radius forms a joint, is involved with the joint of the ulna. So the head of the radius has to fit into the radial notch on the ulna. All three of these bones, if held properly, would fit together like this. And you could see the elbow flexing and extending.